Mahabharata is one of the greatest epic ever written. It is an epic history of the Kurukshetra War, and the outcomes of the Kaurava and the Pandava princes. Draupadi, the wife of five brothers, is the heroine princess and one of the central characters in the epic Mahabharata. Draupadi was the daughter of King Drupada of Panchal. She had five sons, Pratavindya, Sutazoma, Srutakama, Satanaka and Sruthasena. Draupadi's story has been an inspiration for various arts and performance. In Hinduism, she is celebrated as one of the Panchakanya, five women, prime examples of female chastity. It is said that, Draupadi was born out of revenge. King Drupada of Panchala was defeated by the Pandava prince Arjuna, on behalf of Drona. Drupada and Drona had studied together, under the guardianship of Rishi Bhardwaj, Drona's father. They soon became great friends, and Drupada assures Drona that, once he becomes king, he will share half of his kingdom with Drona. While Drupada became a king after the death of his father, Drona lived a life of extreme poverty. Drona approaches Drupada for help, who now conscious of the difference of status between him, refuses to acknowledge Drona's friendship, and ignores Drona, calling him a beggar. Drona is later employed by Bhishma to train the Kuru princes. After the military education of the Kauravas and the Pandavas ends, as his debt, Drona asks the princes to defeat and capture Drupada. Humiliated, Drupada performed rituals by burning the fire of revenge, followed by Yajna to obtain a means of blessing him. Draupadi emerged as a beautiful dark-skinned young woman, from the sacrificial fire after her sibling Drishtadiyamna. After she appeared from the sacrificially fire, a heavenly voice announced that, she would bring about a great shift in the future of the Dharma of Bharat Varsha. Draupadi is one of the leading characters of Mahabharata. She is also known by various names. Drupadi, Panchali, Parshati, Yagnaseni, Saronri, Nityayuvani, Malini and Krishna. Draupadi was extremely beautiful, while also being very brave and intelligent. King Drupada organized a swayamwa for his deserving daughter, where he put a condition for marriage. She would wed the prince who would pierce the eye of the rotating fish, by looking at its reflection in the water. Arjuna was among the many princes who were witness to the swayamva. However, the Pandava prince was in disguise as a Brahmin, along with his brothers Yudhisthira and Bhima. Arjuna was only one besides Karna, who was capable of winning Draupadi's hand. Draupadi had already rejected Karna because of his background. After winning the contest, the disguised Arjuna along with his brothers Yudhisthira and Bhima, moved towards the hut where Kunti is waiting for them. He tells his mother Kunti, that they get a special bhiksha. Without looking at what exactly it is, Kunti instructed the five Pandava brothers to share among them. The five brothers had obeyed their mother's words. So Draupadi had to marry each of the Pandava's brothers. Draupadi was destined to marry all five Pandavas, and it wasn't Kunti's fault. However, Draupadi is not happy about the arrangement, but Lord Krishna comes to their place and consoles both. He mentions Draupadi's in her previous life, in front of Lord Shiva, wished for a husband who was an epitome of righteousness, best archer, strongest, charming, patience and determinant. But since, it was impossible to find someone with all those qualities. At last, she was blessed with five husbands in her next birth. Draupadi is one of Pinchakanias, known as the Five Virgins. She used to walk through fire to regain her virginity, before she moved to the next husband. The Vastraharan of Draupadi, attempted by Duryodhan and his brother Dushashan in Mahabharat is a very shameful incident. Only one Kaurava, Vakana stood against the heinous act. But Lord Krishna, the brother, the friend and protector saved the Pancha princess in time. After Krishna left his mortal body, the Pandavas lost interest in the world. Draupadi and the Pandavas decided to go to heaven, with their mortal body seeking penance. When they were crossing the Sumeru Parvat, the feet of Draupadi stunned, and she fell from the mountain and died. Bhima asks Yudhishthira why did Draupadi died early, and couldn't continue with them on their journey to heaven. Yudhishthira replied that, she loves Arjuna more than four of us.